especially for the morning. It's going to be bright blue skies yet again this morning. Our temperatures are going to heat up, and we are in the 90s to stay for a little bit of time. Look at our te current temperatures right now. 65 in Denver and Sterling, 64 in Fort Collins, Grand Junction, already at 70 degrees. Most of us here in the front range, in that 60 degree mark. The higher elevations, even look at that. Most are in the kind of the 50s. You can see Georgetown, though, at 43, which is typical for them, especially this time of year. Here in Denver, 65 downtown and at the airport. Our humidity at 54%. The winds are starting to pick up just a little bit. They were calmer this morning. We're going to get a little bit of wind gusts later this afternoon because, believe it or not, it's hard to tell, I know, with our temperatures climbing into the 90s. We actually have a weak front that's pushing into our area that is keeping our temperatures down, I guess, compared to where they could be. But we're still going to jump into those 80s by lunchtime, then into the 90s later this afternoon. Our high is going to be just about very similar to yesterday, around 93 degrees. Keeping those warm temperatures, although it does look like we're going to cool off just a little bit more later this evening because we're going to see more clouds today in the afternoon than we saw yesterday. So let's look at our future cast and show you how it plays out. Starting this at 7 o'clock in the morning, you're going to start to see some of the more scattered showers begin to pick up. I'm going to step out so you can actually see it. There at 1.30, you can see them out on the eastern plains and also in the foothills and the higher elevations. Then they're going to mainly move from the eastern plains and we're going to mostly see some of those storms in the foothills. The higher elevations could see the chance of those storms very similar to yesterday. Later this evening, right around 845, it looks like the storms will push just south of that I-70 corridor, giving those folks a chance to see some of those storms before then pushing right on out. Let's widen it out, show you our statewide view. Also starting it at 7 o'clock in the morning. You'll just notice it's going to be a pretty mild day. There is a chance that the eastern plains, if some of these storms do develop, especially right there in the northeast of Sterling, we could see some severe weather. It's going to be very isolated, but there is a chance if those storms actually do end up developing later in the afternoon today. Other than that, you're going to see mostly clear skies by tomorrow morning. It's going to be very pleasant. As we look at our state highs, you're going to notice it's definitely much warmer. Triple digits there in Grand Junction here in Denver, 93, 95 in Greeley, 94 in Fort Collins. Colorado Springs a little cooler there around 90 degrees. The mountains also heating up. Take a look. Temperatures in the 80s, 82 at Winter Park, as well as Vail. Glenwood Springs, 95 degrees today. Littleton and Parker both at 91. Aurora, 93. Brighton and Boulder, as well as Longmont at 94. So you can expect temperatures very similar to yesterday. Some of those afternoon and even evening storms to develop. Mountains, foothills, and just a few out there on the eastern plains. As we look at our seven-day planner, you will notice the 90s are here to stay. Now, Saturday, it looks like some of our monsoonal moisture is going to return to the state giving us our best chance for some rain showers. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't look like it's going to cool us off any.